I would go shopping. I even, yeah, yeah, crazy, but I would go buy myself a, a, a thank you card, and I'd write it to myself, and I'd put it down for a couple days, and I'd come back, and I'd say, oh, that is, that is, that's me. You know, I want to enjoy myself. And sometimes those things are important. Those priorities that you have. If you go sell your house or whatever. But this is coming up to the close here. Create the person. Create and become the person that God calls you to be. That back to that purpose again. Understanding your position despite your condition. You're going to go through the storm. You're going to have some problems. We know that. Because God said, I have plans for you. Plans. That means not just one, because he knew we going to make some mistakes. He knew, he knew we was going to hook up with Bobby and marry Bobby and get divorced because Bobby can't let go of the bottle or, or abusive or, you know, or it's just all those things. He knew you was going to get the job and, and they told you you was late and you was going to act a fool and they said, hey, you're fired. And you're going to have to go get another job. But God knows that. So the plans or your kid is going to do something that's going to jeopardize your career, your life, your life goal. And think about the ways you want it. I always thought of myself as a 10-year-old kid. I always said, I'm going to be living in California. And this is a story, real quick story. My mom, we just came from church. We, uh, back then, we was going to the... Um, the uh, Holiness Church, you know, you know, they sweat it out. I mean, you know, it's on. They sweat it out, and you're tired. Even the kids is tired just for looking, you know. And my mom, she was one of those kind of mothers that say, uh, "My kids go do an A and B selection," and she didn't tell us, you know. And so we sing in, and they said we go from this church, and we go to this church. I remember we had a. a big yellow uh, station wagon with the big brown wood paneling on the side. And we pulled up to KFC up here on Broadway, and my mom said, all right, what y'all go? What y'all want? And I started rattling off, I want this, I want this. And she said, shut up, boy. I said, I said well, mom, you said, said, shut up. And she ordered a bucket of chicken and, and a couple of biscuits and some uh, coleslaw. And I don't like coleslaw. And uh, I said, I was mumbling in the back, I was like, one day, I don't want to get my what you said, what you said. I said, one day, I'm going to bust you in your mouth. I mean, that's just mom. And I remember that because I wanted to have something more and I wanted to become something. In order to do that, I had to create that. I had to become what God called me to be despite my condition. Poor kid coming up from Cleveland. It was like odds against you. I, you know, I was terrified until I turned 25 years old because they said that, hey, black males don't make it to the age 25. You know, I used to be in, in a gang before I went to LPS. You know, I used to, you know, running around with everybody on the 104th. My, my life changed August the 1st, 1985. I got hit in the head with a steel fence pole twice on this side and this side. And my mom told me not to go up there and get involved with the fight because it was a guy on our street named Shelby. He was fighting the Reno Raiders. So, and, that, and then next thing you know, I come home bleeding, and, and I don't want to have to go to the hospital, get stitches and staples in my head. And my mom, you know, mom, the loving mom, you know, the black, black woman, you, know, you fool. I told you, where's the love? <laughs> you know, because, and it is the love. <laughs> you know, at the time, I didn't understand. Why are you calling me a fool? Why are you calling me an idiot? I told you. And I said, but I thought I was doing the right thing. You know? But we don't. That's why it's important for us to listen to our black women because they have the wisdom. And our black women have always had us to practice being a good kid versus a bad. So, last but least, this is my last step, and that is vis visualize yourself as becoming that person. You see the nurse walking down the street, wear a nice outfit on, going, but that's just a student. You don't even respect that person until they get the job and they get the certificate, but you don't believe them until you see them in the hospital sticking you in an, in an arm with a needle. Say, so you really don't have this job. <laughs> so 
Visualize yourself. Vision is so important. See it before it happens. If you can see it, you can be it. And if you see where you are right now at your job, and you see, you say, well, I want to be here, you know? I want to be the manager. Test, test it out for a couple of months. But you work toward it, and you actually are that, then what happens? You accomplish something. You accomplish something. You want to be a, you're a great mom? You want to be an unbelievable mom? You can always get better because God wants to be able to use us. And that's why increase is in us, is in our heart. We want better because God has put it in our heart because we want to have better things. It's not because you're trying to beat the Joneses, because if you got the music playing in you, you need a piano. So how are you going to get that piano? You need a better job. You need better things for an increase in your life. People, I go to churches and pastors, they preach about increase, but the increase is in the person. It's already there. You just need to tap into it. And how you tap into it is as you practice becoming the person you want to be and the person you visualize. And when you see that vision, believe me, and I like this saying, say, keep your head and your heart in the right direction, and you'll never have to worry about your feet. And if you're taking the stairs, you're always going to the top. And when you're going to the top, and you understand those seven steps, and practice them, and go back and forth over them, before you know it, you're at the top. And when everything is going crazy in your life affairs, take the stairs. My name is Dr. Hutchison. I just thank you for coming. That is it.